I guess from a young age then, where, where does music start for you? Yeah, so, um, I mean, my first memory with music is, like, listening to Led Zeppelin mm-hmm. with my dad, um, Neil Young, lots of, like, classic rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then I was really, really small. I'm still kind of small, but I was really <laughs> small for my age yeah. um, in elementary school, and uh, this this group of, like, uh, or orchestra mm-hmm. musicians came through, and they kind of encouraged us to yeah. pick an instrument to play. And so in fourth grade, I started playing the biggest one that I of could because that means that I'm a big the person. The coolest, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so that's kind of – that's how I got started into playing music. Um, I played a little bit of electric guitar. Mm-hmm. Uh, I took lessons and stuff when I was in elementary school too. Yeah, but yeah. then I stopped doing that until about two years ago. And picked it back up. Yeah. Cool. So I clearly always had an interest in music and, I mean – Led Zeppelin and Van Halen and just all of them. Absolutely. So much. I mean, the sad thing now is like, to me, I'm 30. To me, classic rock now. Like, classic rock to me is that, right? Right. But someone referred, said to me the other day that like the Foo Fighters are now classic rock. Oh it's gosh. like, no, I no. refuse to listen. Like, then there's no way. I refuse <laughs> to hear that. Like, they're yeah. not. Like, I mean, they were coming out like, they're not peak when I was in high school, but like still, like they're not classic yet. Like no. classic to me is like ACDC, right? And the Rolling mm-hmm. Stones and the Who. Absolutely. You know? yeah. But it's so fun. Like when we get older, they're like, oh no, this is classic to people who are now in high school. I'm like, no, it's just not. This is amazing music. Uh, so, so listening to music with dad is like the earliest memory. Mm-hmm. Um, in Oklahoma, then you grew up born and raised here as well? Yeah. Um, okay. So I. I was uh, like born in Lexington, which mm-hmm. is around uh, Noble. Yeah, and then I moved here in elementary school to the city, and I haven't moved since. I've traveled yeah. a lot, um, especially when I was younger with my family. Mm-hmm. But um, there's nothing that feels better than this city to yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, because it, it's. I mean, this has been said again many times on the podcast. It's the feeling of like potential growth here, the opportunity, and it's like you know to use a a, a a phrase that's been used far too much recently is it feels like it's going to the moon mm-hmm. uh you know it's on a rocket ship right so so you obviously get into music at a young age get, pick your first instrument start playing from then are you just kind of hooked and everything you want to do and in life is centered around music Honestly, no. Um, for a long time, I did uh, photography, mm-hmm. and then I did a little bit of videography, graphic design. Okay. Um, that was about, you know, that was my high school years. I went to Quartz Mountain for photography. Okay. Um, I met a guy named Kurt Marcus, and he was fantastic to work with. Um, and he's, I mean, he's traveled all over the place taking photos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so that was, that was pretty uh, interesting. And... Then I got into like graphic design. I started working with uh, some musicians, and mm-hmm. started to realize like, oh, I kind of like doing music, you yeah. know. And I started helping them in the studio and stuff. Um, there's this band called Dead Week that I work with sometimes, mm-hmm. and we've I produced some of the songs that they put out, and yeah, a lot of that really helped me figure out that I wanted to do music. Got you. So all the like the background stuff, then the behind the scenes stuff that. They, all the technical stuff that makes them do what they do and then the creative side of you producing and everything like usually that's the other way around isn't it usually like people just want to play right they don't want to deal with anything that's behind you know the right. scenes or whatever but that's really good because you get an appreciation now as an artist for everybody who does that and produces oh, that and you don't have to rely on anyone else to produce your own music definitely yeah we I, fortunately I live with my brother who is the drummer for Dead Week mm-hmm. um, and we have a third bedroom and I get to just have that as my space yeah. and it's just like the studio setup and that's that's been really fortunate for yeah, me yeah yeah